guten Abend, ich wollte Französisch sprechen, aber man hat mir gesagt, Charlotte ist Englisch, du musst Englisch sprechen. So excuse me, Charlotte, for my accent. The first time I met Charlotte Trumpling, it was to offer her the lead part in Under the Sand. I had the feeling that she was afraid of nothing and would accept being filmed in a swimsuit after 50 years old. Indeed, she was not afraid at all. <laughs> But I was still a cheeky young filmmaker. I also told her I wanted to play against her glamorous image by filming her, by, by filming her vacuuming. She fixed me with her legendary gaze, gray blue and her heavy eyelids, and she said, je ne crois pas que ce soit une bonne idée. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> so that was a bad start. But we made the film together, and it was a beautiful encounter. Without knowing it, I had given her a part that echoed her own personal story. When we finished filming, she told me with great modesty that for the last scene on the beach, she had the memory of her sister in mind. From here was born a strong bond between us and a need to work together again, four times. We had fun creating a British murder mystery writer in swimming pool. She supported me by participating in a complicated inter international project for Angel, and she agreed with class and elegance to pass the torch of her acting experience to a young novice actress in Jeune et Jolie. Four times, four films, I'm proud of this, because I know that Charlotte has rarely worked twice with the same filmmaker. So, as I wait for the film number five, knowing I've worked with many actresses, I want to tell you, Charlotte, merci, and you are the most important actress in my life. Thank you. Ça pas. Ça fait deux jours que je me cache. Ah. Tu le tiens Je le tiens. Thank you so much. Francois Ozon is the cherry on the cake. <laughs> I didn't know he was coming, so you kept a nice surprise, Vim and all your people, because Francois is so much part of my film world that, that is so important. It started, I mean, tonight is just like It confirms a dream I've always had. When I was a very young actress in, in uh, England, in the early 70s, I crossed the channel and I wanted to join forces with Europe. I've always had this feeling about the melange, the diversity, the importance of what Europe is, that I felt that in this I actually really decided to leave England and go and work on the continent, as they say, when you're in England, you go on the continent, that I would be missing something very, very vital and important, not only in my career, because my career wasn't a career I was living, in my life, of, share, of being able to share other things with other people and not just remain in my very simple world, which was just being an English girl. And then Francois, when we did, when I met him, when I was in my 50s and so daringly wore a swimming suit. <laughs> <laughs> I usually just take them off, but he sort of thought... The film after. You know? Yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was con it was confirming this um, form of interiority that I've always searched for. And it's been in European cinema and all the extraordinary things we've been seeing tonight and all the people that are making and creating worlds that we need to see, we need to connect with, we need to hear and we, and we very, very much need 
that they continue and that Europe continues with its extraordinary voice in so many different, so many different ways. So I, I joined it all and I joined it very early and I've been there. So when Vim asked, asked me or said, would I accept this award? I was not sure that a Life Achievement Award was really sort of my cup of tea. I didn't see why, but, <laughs> but it actually is because, because this is the European Academy and I'm so proud and so very, very honored to have this award in this European Academy. Okay. Thank you, Francois. And just one other thing. I want, uh, I just want to dedicate, I want to dedicate this award to Jean-Noël. Thank you.